Take your hand back. So let's say we're going to start in the half part. Sit up and take my head right here. Right, no, we're going to go this way. Okay, so maybe this happened off of a takedown. And it, it can occur a lot of different ways, but I'm ahead of him in the guillotine exchange here. I'm already beating him. And he's a little over committed. Okay, so as we drop and move into this position, he's still hanging onto my head. We're going to start from the half guard here. I'm keeping my right leg curled back, heel to butt. And I'm keeping a turt, like a tension on this leg here. And at the same time, I'm dropping this hip to the ground. I'm trapping here, holding him with my shoulder. Take your hand back. Take your hand, take your hand away from me. Go ahead. As he tries to do that, I drop to my hip and I stretch. Just like this. The reason I do that is so that I can connect my shoulder into his throat. See how right here my bicep is on his throat? I'm not going to really get the choke that I need or the weight distribution that I need. So as I tip my hip here, I hold his hand and I stretch this one. And then I walk it, walk it. And now I bring around and grip his armpit here. Hands go together and the weight's going to go in. The knees are going to stay pinched. And I'm just, oh, sorry. I uh, would continue, but he's already there. He's already tapped. Um, <laughs> Maybe we should just start there before we kill him. Uh, <laughs> I'm on my tiptoes and I'm dropping my shoulder in. The, what you guys are going to try to do is you're going to try to walk up his face like this. Is that a choke, Mike? Uh, maybe. Here, duck your chin a little bit. Don't offer it to me so easily. Yeah. So there's no choke. I miss with my shoulder. I'm up on his face. Hurts real bad. Not going to kill him. my knee or my shoulder stays down here and I work under the jawline. So turn this way down. This is my objective to get my shoulder under the jawline here. If I feel that my shoulder rises above or to even to the line of the jaw, I'm gonna miss the choke. Now I'm just driving my shoulder it's very uncomfortable. Like I got, I'm using that to turn his chin. He's not going to get back to his guard or anything. But I'm probably not going to get the tap. I'm not going to put him to sleep. Maybe he taps because he's uncomfortable. But to kill him, I want to be right there. And that's what interests me the most is the killing part. So, flatten him. I pinch this together so he doesn't recover his guard. I'm here. I'm based first. Take your hand back. All right, we're gonna open with that because we're gonna need that to do what I actually came to do. So that's the opening um, principle, and then we'll run from there. Ready, one, two, three. Just the same way you would trap it if you were gonna do an inverted arm lock off of your guard. All right, so it's right there. So take it back. Got it? 